Well, there is always a special buzz on the opening day of any cup competition. The first and only time when all teams, regardless of stature, history, reputation, start from the same position. Everybody can have the same hopes, everybody the same dreams. This could be our year, we're going to do it again, it will be us at last. Those are the sorts of things we hear year on year. Hardly a surprise then that everybody is raring to go. Tries a shot! He's missed, but not by that far. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. to get it away quick turn it's Atsu goal there is the breakthrough that really was a thing of beauty curled in effortlessly you know I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey Ghana get themselves into the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. What a throw in. And here's Ayu. Atsu. Christian Atsu! It's off target and by quite a way. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Ghana are leading with half-time. Has a hit! And the follow-up! Oh, taken with style! They have come roaring back! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value... Shapes to shoot! He has done it! And they're back in front! Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Ghana take the lead. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So a really good half of football, three goals, and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how to... It's Ayo! Oh, surely that deserved better. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. it back and here's Ayu questions were asked 
but he's given the answers. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And that's a throw. It's Christian Atsu. Throw it. Just about up to 75 minutes. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Going shot at goal! just lacked a decent finish if he sacrifices some power he may control the elevation but what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain they're not going to get back into the game like this almost there and the players can feel it well it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation but it needs to be any time now he's had a shot he's scored two ahead late in the day game over surely that really is quite fabulous all his own doing referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle Ghana have got off to an ideal start. Three points on day one, and it bodes well for the campaign ahead.